Hey guys, this is Lilith Overnight. This is my Book of Shadows part four or vlog number vlog number four. I'm not gonna try to take too long on here. It's past the witching hour. I don't know what theme I'm going for in this vlog, Book of Shadows vlog, but I've been pretty much slaving all night to get this pop it it looks so <laughs> you know you know i haven't been making poppets in a while but it it was the intent and the energy that i put in here um i was trying to give her some like women you know like some boobs or whatever like circly spirals like on the breast to make sure that like you get that goddess energy i'm still working on it but this is just, you know, her symbol, the goddess Lilith, and I know, like, I didn't put, like, cotton up on this part because, you know, I just made the arms too thin, so, you know, eventually I'll be making more poppets, and then I put my potion, my trust me potion, with the poppet, because why not... <laughs> Because I just wanted to put that trust. So before I, you know, lose track, um, let's just see how long this camera is fair to me so that I can uh, pull out some Moonology cards and see what the card of the day is for this energy so that I can stop being so scattered brain and hopefully... It'll uh, work out for you guys too. Maybe this message will be for you guys. So I ask Spirit to help me pull out a card. Ah. Universe, help me pull out a card for my Moonology deck. Okay. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon and Taurus. <laughs> you know, a few of them came out, actually. Uh, believe in the impossible. Blue moon. And the other two that fell is expect a powerful change. New moon. Eclipse. And have faith in your dreams. Waxing, cres waxing crescent moon. Um, for those who want to learn like astrology in the moon phases, this would be a great deck to use. Uh, is the moonology card? They're beautiful cards, and they're great cards to learn about the moon phases. Um, I was looking at the stars earlier, well, last night, and I was just stargazing. And, you know, when I was, um, you know, in involved with somebody romantically, not that, you know, someone dear to my heart. I don't want to put nobody on blast on my channel that might not want to be talked about. So, anyway, you know, I was going through some spiritual battles. And, you know, especially as a spiritual being, having a human experience... You know, I'm I'm not going to try to get sidetracked, but pretty much I'm saying is that, yeah, I have went through some spiritual battles in my life, and there are times where I still go through it, but I, I keep my head up, and, I, you know, witches aren't supposed to think in the way that they don't want to be, if that makes sense, or maybe that's just me. But, you know, what I mean is, is that if you want something, you should go and get it, but don't have the mindset of lack. Like these cards that I just pulled out, you know, um, you know, I kind of shuffled them real quick, but that was a great message for, I think, all of us who, and it's a timeless reading, so, you know, if you really needed that message, I hope that helped for the Moonology cards that I suggest getting it if you want to learn the moon phases and astrological planets, like places. Um, that's another reason why I got those cards, because I'm really into astrology, and, uh, I really want to, 
remember the planetary alignment. And uh, anyway, a uh, stargazer card. Um, you know, someone dear to my heart was telling me not that long ago that, you know, love, you know, listen and look to the stars because the stars are listening. And um, the stars give us messages. And it was so weird when he told me that because I read it in, this is also a great deck, the angels and, or ancestors, oracle deck. And I have the she-wolf card here too. My spirit just told me to pull out these two cards. Because, like, it, this uh, card, this, in this book, it tells you to call on the she-wolf. And I was like, it says, unleash the wild within. But I was like, ah, oh, you know, they're just being cheesy about their, you know, little tarot deck. But, like, calling on the spirits, I mean, the ancestors and the angels in, in this deck. It is actually, like, I've seen some real experiences, especially with the She-Wolf card, you know, which I needed. Because as soon as I pulled out the She-Wolf card and I called upon the She-Wolf, um, she, like, that energy really went in within me. And I just didn't care. I just would dance in the middle of nature and dance in the middle of the rain and just kind of like say fuck the spiritual battle fuck this war that is between the dark and the light and all this evil and good like don't get me wrong like it is important but you know that's for another video and um i'm not here to bring any negativity uh, you know i'm just trying to bring some positivity, some light, some love with those readings. I needed to read that. So later on in the video, you know, hopefully I'll get into that mindset and look at the cards that I pulled out today on this video. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I was still working on my poppet.